Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying <laughs> three, a sack of potatoes. A, yeah, really. That's what it feels like. Uh, huge. Uh, we're going to be trying some potato chips. Three different potato chips. Three different flavors and companies and all that. So we have Terrell's Syracuse style potato chips. These were $3.49 at Home Goods. I'm going to go ahead and give you prices as we go along. $3.49 at Home Goods for a 9 ounce, 255 gram bag. These are the Old Dutch Pepper Jack potato chips. They were $6.99 at Costco for a 30 ounce or 850 gram bag. <laughs> if I know the uh, Carolina Kettle, these are the Thai chili. They are a it looks small. It looks like a five one. ounce, 141 gram, and they were two dollars and seven nine cents at Home Goods. Yeah, so so the price is right for the smaller bag. Yeah. Okay, so two of them from Home Goods, one of them from Costco. Mm -hmm. The Terrells we have actually reviewed uh, some barbecue I think so. Terrells. Yeah. That's the only ones we've ever had mm -hmm. though, because we are only finding them at Home Goods. It's not like they sell this brand in the store. Right. And so we get what we get when we can get it. So Syracuse style, a dash of this and a dash of that, made in New York since 1946. Nine servings are in the container, about 15 chips, 28 grams is 160 calories. And I had Kevin go on a quest. What is Syracuse style? Find out what that is because it's not on the bag. What in the world is Syracuse style? So basically. They, they make them in Syracuse, so they're their style. That's it. That's <laughs> they just kind of created their own thing. That's it, yeah. That's so, at least the best I can tell. Yeah, Who knows? yeah, that's it. They're just, they're made in Syracuse. When you, actually, when you search for Syracuse style chips uh, or these, Syracuse style, the Terrell's pops up. Terrell's comes up. So they're the only ones apparently that are labeled Syracuse <laughs> style. So um, in the ingredients, the first ingredient, of course, is fresh potatoes. But these do have onion powder, uh, garlic powder, paprika, turmeric extract, paprika spice, paprika spice, and a natural smoke flavor. Those are a couple things in there. You taste none of that. Oh, really? They're vinegar chips. <laughs> they do have some other seasonings in there, but. That's a huge one. That's primarily vinegar. And what's funny is it doesn't even say vinegar in there. It never lists vinegar. Well, that's what they taste like, isn't it? A little. I think I mean, it's all vinegar. It tastes like vinegar, but not... Not like salt and pepper, or salt and vinegar. Yes. So it tastes like vinegar, but not the vinegar that you usually get, like, in, like, Lay's potato chips, the salt right. and vinegar. It's not that... It tastes like a, a different type of vinegar. A different flavor vinegar but it does have a vinegar flavor and it's mm -hmm. it's it's uh, it's odd that it it's that's not listed in there but it truly doesn't taste like like I'm not getting natural smoke flavor I'm not getting garlic or paprika or anything no, no. Um, they're okay I mean they're good chips I, I eat them yeah I don't mind them mm -hmm. um, but I guess a flavored Vinegar is how I would describe them, yeah. too. Yeah. Kind of like a balsamic vinegar, but not quite that kind of flavor. Yeah, it's not similar. that, yeah. Or malt vinegar, but not quite malt or like something like that. Like, it's in the vinegar family, right. but it's, it's a cousin. Yeah. It's yeah. Kind of seasoned vinegar. I agree. Yeah. 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 One good. of those I vinegars like. that slept with somebody else in the family, <laughs> but we don't know which one it came from. Yeah. Okay. It, it, they're good. <laughs> not somebody necessarily buy again, but they're good. This is a Dutch Crunch. We have reviewed a lot of Dutch Crunch on the channel. I was surprised mm -hmm. because weren't some of them in different color bags? Like a... Yeah, like some of them are in black bags, but it was like some of the flavors weren't in black bags either. So these are Dutch Crunch Pepper Jack kettle chips, and I love Pepper Jack or I would have never bought this huge bag. 
Because I don't like buying big bags of chips like this. No, like they have at Costco. Because we don't eat that much no. chips. We don't eat that many chips. So no. if you're going to a cookout or something, it'd be great. That's but. the only time I can imagine. So like, I know people love Costco and they love going, but it's like, who's eating all these chips? Or is everybody having a cookout every weekend? Because they're going to be, they're going to go stale if you don't eat them, you know. Or maybe these, all these people have big families. That's exactly. Maybe if you had a couple kids and they're all eating them. I guess. They got friends coming over and they're eating them. It says <laughs> gluten free. Uh, they are always gluten free, made with natural flavors and colors, which potato chips, I mean, like lace potato chips are gluten free, right? Um, they are made in St. Paul, Minnesota. 30 servings, 13 chips, 28 grams is 140 calories. Oh, there's lots of foldovers, and they look okay. Kettle, the yeah, the kettle. Okay, yeah, you get some out of there because I can't eat them. See, there are foldovers are pretty common in kettle. That's a different flavor. I like it though. Mm -hmm. There's something very savory in it that's not the cheese. No, it almost seems almost like a meat like flavor, but it's not. It... No, I was gonna say the exact same thing. It almost comes across like a meat seasoning. Mm -hmm. Um, it says cheddar. It's potatoes, cheddar cheese. Red bell pepper, red bell pepper powder, sorry, buttermilk, jalapeno pepper powder, chili powder, spices like garlic powder, dried parsley. I don't know, it's really good. Vinegar, this one has vinegar powder. Um, maybe it's the cheddar cheese. The cheese, I'm wondering if I saw the cheese. You know, this bag is so dangerous because I, I look, the opening's You big. have to eat them all. I look down in there, and well, I want to eat every single fold over That's what first. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And so she wants to clear out all the fold overs. Bad thing is, a bag this big, there's a lot of them. And there's gonna be, a, yes, <laughs> yes. Like, like I could eat half that bag, believe it or not, and make myself sick on it. Yeah, I, I think it's that cheese. The amount of seasoning on there, mm -hmm. because you're, you're gonna get it on your fingers. Yeah, they're very covered. I love the texture of them. They're very, they're like true kettle chips where they're gonna be hard. A lot of people would not like. Um, they're hard, but they're out. not too hard. I don't think they're too hard, but to a lot of people, those would that be would too be hard. hard yeah. And you get the combination of the foldovers and them being kettle chips, and it's like a, gonna be a big no no for some people because their mouths are too delicate for that. I like them, I think they're wonderful. I would not have necessarily said pepper jack because no. we love pepper jack cheese yeah the pepper jack cheese is not did it say cheddar cheese because pepper jack cheese is not cheddar cheese it's a white cheese it says cheddar cheese yeah see that's that's one difference in it right there it's, it's pepper jack at least every pepper jack i've ever had is a white cheese. it's white yeah um so so that could be a little of the difference that but makes you have it, white cheddar yeah it's, it's true so it's probably so white I, cheddar i don't know who knows? Yeah. Who knows so, what? But you do get a little bit of heat. It's not like really burn your mouth, but it's, there's a little warmth there. It's not bad. I don't think there is for me. At I, all? I don't no. Really? No. I get a little bit. No, I, I I love them. I think they're delicious. I don't think they're pepper jack, but I think they're yeah. they have a really nice seasoning. That all those seasonings that I named, all those powders. Mm -hmm. I didn't necessarily pick up on the chili powder, which normally I would. No, I think that's for me, it's probably getting a little tingle. Okay, see, I did not, I love chili powder, but I did not pick up on that in there. Uh, but it does have a nice uh, combination, and for me, none of them is too much or too no. strong. No. Um, so, luckily, we like them, because that's yeah. a big, big bag. bag. We'll have that until March. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, these are the Carolina Kettle. We have reviewed a lot from Carolina Kettle. And we always find these things at Home Goods because they don't sell them in the regular grocery store. Kettle cooked potato chips, sweet and hot, Thai chili. And you read a, a description it's somewhere. Like somewhere. Um, over here. Uh, inspired. It really still doesn't say anything. Thai, uh, inspired by Thai 
inspired, sweet and spicy flavors. There we go. Okay. Mouth watering herbs and a subtle kick to create a unique taste. Thanks for that accurate description. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's marketing writing the description for something they never tasted. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah. I could say that about anything. But most things are like that. Kind of like a, a palm reader or something. Yeah. I can give you a lot of vague stuff to make you believe I know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, sweet chili seasoning, vinegar. It's funny. All the ones mm -hmm. with vinegar, we're not getting the vinegar. Um, garlic powder, mm. paprika, salt. They kind of stink. That they they taste more Indian spice than Thai. You know, like Mediterranean kind of spices. You mean spices you don't like? Yeah. <laughs> That's what Kevin's not saying. Is you know the spices I don't ever like to eat. <laughs> They're not horrible, but that's nothing I would ever buy again. That's not a flavor I enjoy. They are they do have a little sweetness there, but I think there's a little sweetness there, but I'm getting the little um, the little bit of heat. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit. Huh? A little bit. Yeah. Very these have more heat to me than the pepper jack. Oh no, for the pepper jack have more for me. Okay, see, it's just different, different Different tastes. peppers have different, different Exactly. Hits. This has has more heat to me, more of a tingle. It's all over my mouth. It's not mm. bad. It's not It's not hot. It's just right. a little bit of a tingle. And um, see, I'm just barely getting that. But it, I do not mind these. It's not like I think they're bad, but the combination of flavors, um, well, the yes, I yeah, and they stink. I, I don't. Who wants to eat something that stinks? Yeah, I don't like stinky. And I don't. Yeah, that to me that stinks. So I, I would not want to be in their presence at all. Um, so yeah, I would not pick these again. Are they limited edition? No. Huh? They sell these all the time. Huh? I'm surprised they have that many people that want to eat that. It doesn't say limited. It doesn't say limited edition. I would only get out of these. The Dutch. Yeah, I would get the Syracuse style too. I like them. They're not bad, but I no. like the pepper jack more. Yeah, I mean, I could find those probably. Well, around here, who knows? Um, yeah, I mean, my favorite is definitely the, the pepper jack, but not because it tastes like pepper jack necessarily. <laughs> yeah, I, they're, they're good. They're definitely worth buying. I also noticed that the expiration date's only like a, a couple months. So you'd have to eat these fast. That's another problem with these big box clubs is when it comes to snacks, Fries, when it comes to snacks like this, you really need to look at those sell by dates because it almost seems like they get the shorter sell by dates in the big box store. Seems like it. Yeah, because we bought a lot of stuff and it's like you get a box of 40 potato chips. Okay, now you have two weeks to eat them all. Mm -hmm. um, I'm telling you, I really think it's like, okay, let's give all the, the short shelf life to them. Mm -hmm. So I've it, done that with the bags of chips. When it comes to chips, you have to be careful. So um, anyway, those are my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.